So it's been a couple of days since Tumad passed away. Unfortunately, of course, um, you never want to see somebody that young pass away. The reactions have started to pour in over the last couple of days. Obviously, we made a video the other day talking about it. A lot of people coming out with their takes, talking about how they knew him, what they knew of him. I think for me, the content creator that probably had the best take was JREG. I really appreciated what he had to say in his video. It worked for me like fasting. Yes, I tried to get too mad on OMAD and now he's nomad. I but there have been other content creators that have been making this all about themselves. Minx is a degenerate alcoholic Twitch streamer who likes to post a lot on Twitter. And when Too Mad passed away, this was feasting time for just a Minx. I mean, how many tweets can we get out about this subject? And before you go, whoa, 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 Sleepy, you made a couple of videos on this subject. <laughs> Aren't you milking as well? Yes, I am. And I'm, and I'm very clear about that. And I don't act like I'm emotionally attached to Too Mad. I'm not acting like he was my boyfriend and I was in love with him and this is breaking my heart because it's not. Um, I was a really, really big fan of Too Mad for a very long time. I've already explained this. Um, and then he did a bunch of shit that like just changed the way I felt about him. I will still, you know, unlike Fantano, if Too Mad put out an album, I would review it. <laughs> but you know, he can't put out albums anymore. So by now you're asking, Sleepy, what did what did Minx do? What, this video seems so poorly put together. What what did Minx do? Like, what, what, that's the point of the video, isn't it? I've had several horrific and scary actions with Too Mad, but it was clear he was mentally ill and didn't accept it. He wanted to keep taking drugs to feel better, but when I met him, he was a chill and nice person. I don't know how to feel right now. Drink some alcohol to feel better. As someone who experienced it firsthand and spoke about it, I think this tweet is fucking insane. Not even 10 minutes after they announced his passing. And this is obviously in reference to the Jameski tweet. I supported the lawsuit that's happening, but I can finally say it after he just passed is crazy. This is just weird. He has been wanting to talk about it for a long time and couldn't because of the lawsuit. Too Mad's death let him feel relief too. Not everyone is as conflicted as you are right now. Too Mad fucking stalked me until he passed away. I felt relief too, but speaking on it an hour after he passed, weird. Log off. Now, obviously, the career of an e-celebrity is always going to involve some amount of sharing your private thoughts publicly. But what do these tweets offer? Like, all I'm getting from these tweets is, oh, Minx knew Too Mad. That's cool. Oh, Minx is kind of defending Too Mad. Okay. Oh, Minx had weird interactions with Too Mad. Interesting. And the very special, I don't even know how to feel right now. It's like, okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks for tweeting that. James Key then offers this in a tweet. Just got a full confirmation that I can tell the public you actively interfered with investigations and assisted Tumad by revealing him confidential information provided by the authorities, and that you also encouraged him to kill himself for hours, days before the tragedy. You even talked about it on streams. I think he wants, I think he's just trying to cope because he has none left to live for, which I understand because he has none. Sounds like revenge. Hope he gets help. Sure. Sure. Starburst, if you support rape. If you support rape. I thought this was your boy. I mean, I'm looking at these tweets. You're talking about, I don't know how to feel right now. You're talking about, you know, it's kind of too early to be making these types of tweets. Dude, before, before he died, you called him a rapist. And him holding a gun to her head. Yeah, I hope he gets help too. And by help. I mean, I hope he learns how to tie a noose. In a video game. Hold on. You're actively on stream encouraging that he kills himself? Now, I do want to add the context. Obviously, this was before he killed himself, okay? So, at least, you know, there's that. My bad. Overdosed on the Fenty, okay? My bad, my bad. Or no, ketamine. Maybe laced? I don't know. This next tweet is a doozy, so let's jump into it. Tumad's passing was a shock that no one was prepared for, and despite the fact that he was an absolute dickhead, I was shocked to see people jump to slander him without even mourning his death or thinking about his family. Even being a victim of him myself, I just still think his family should have been considered. You can disagree with me, but that's just how I feel. He's still someone's family member. That's my opinion. It was apparent he had mental issues, and as much as anyone that knew him would- I'm, I'm not finishing this. You can read it in your own time if you want. 
it, it just sucks. Look, I think it's totally fine to have mixed emotions on someone and maybe the way you felt about someone when you first met them is completely different than how you feel now. Maybe, you know, the allegations of SA and, you know, drug abuse and, you know, potentially murder attempts, which is some stuff that's been brought to the forefront. I don't know if I believe, especially with the lack of evidence. Um, yeah, it's it's totally possible to have different feelings at one point than you do at another, but it it's pretty consistent that Minx is just generally irresponsible with the way she speaks. And yeah, it offers a lot of interesting content, content that I then get to cover and make videos on, but at the end of the day, you're still retarded for producing this type of content. It's insane that like, on the one hand, you're willing to say, yeah, he should figure out how to tie a noose. And then on the other hand, you're saying, oh, well, we can't, we can't jump to any conclusions. We, I mean, he just died. I mean, we can't, it's like, dude, yeah, while I agree, I definitely think James Key probably should have posted more evidence when he posted what he posted. I, I don't have an issue with him, you know, doing his thing if he wants to say that type of shit. Keep in mind that since Two Mad's death, everything that I've seen from James Key has been pretty consistent. I, I haven't seen too much of a switch up. While Minx, on the other hand, this person's been all over the place. On the one hand, he's a bad, evil person who, in her opinion, has raped someone. And on the other hand, I don't know how to feel. Maybe I'm too low IQ to rationalize the feelings of a degenerate alcoholic, but what I will say is that from my perspective as somebody who, you know, in the past maybe I've held some grudges and I felt, you know what, I hope that guy does kill himself. I've never switched up so fucking rapidly in the way that Minx has and been like, yeah, this person that stalked me and, and I believe someone and I said that should they should kill themselves I I don't know how to feel right now <laughs> like bro this is Minx a bad person is she evil no I don't think so I think she's really fucking stupid like really fucking stupid I think this is like somebody who lives a very vapid lifestyle thing to thing you know what I mean whatever brings me the most pleasure in this moment that's what we're doing I think that's kind of how she lives her life and I think that that lifestyle that thought process leads you to making tweets like that i think it leads you to you know maybe living a little too much in the moment not that you shouldn't live in the moment but you should be aware of you know the greater severity of what you're saying something that i should probably follow but i like making youtube videos and, and being a freak online so <laughs> And this is one of those weird scenarios where I can't even say, if I were to offer Minx advice, because like, Minx would never benefit from my advice. I'd actually say that her entire career is successful partly because of these things, partly because she inserts herself into dramas. I almost lost my mind for a second. I, I saw that she had a link tree and then I saw she had a fansly and I was like, there's no way this bitch is an OnlyFans bitch. And then I realized that it says no nudes, so. I think if I'm racist against anyone, it's definitely like women that make money on OnlyFans. Like, I could be friends with them, but could I date them? No. But anyways, ladies and gents, that's the video. I just wanted to present some of these tweets, kind of show you the perspective that Minx was offering over the course of 2 Mads, um, online flaying, I suppose. I think that's kind of, <laughs> that's what we'll call it. But yeah, ladies and gents, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We're back with another video tomorrow, and uh, give me some fucking topics in the comment section down below. I need some topics, okay? Give me the fucking topics.